infection disease, what could be worse? Huh. Okay. I mean, I can kind of see this personally here because my cousin was born above the 37th parallel and she has MS now. And How old is she? she? She is, I want to call her, but then I'm going to get cussed out, 48. Okay. And she is losing mobility with her left hand. Like, she can't feel anything because that's how far she has been misdiagnosed by doctors. And finally, a doctor said, you have MS. That's Dang. why you can't feel it. My Ooh. aunt has MS, and she's in a wheelchair. She I remember she used to have to walk with a cane, but now she's in a wheelchair and she can't move her legs. Um, a Isn't lot of it more common might. among men? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Like That's like a common thing in my family is people would get MS or Lou Gehrig's disease, which I would want some, one of you to fucking kill me. Oh, never mind. It's the opposite. Um, MS is three times more common in women than in men. And hormones also play a significant role in determining susceptibility to MS. I didn't know that. It's a, it's a really horrible autoimmune disease where your body just starts attacking that and you just slowly die. I mean, there, there's no way. You can slow it through, like, exercise. Not like going to the gym, you know, fucking high interval and training, but, like, walking, light Staying aerobics. Staying active, pretty much. Yeah, you have to stay active. Because mm. the reason my aunt went downhill is because she just couldn't stay active. So my cousin, she's doing everything she can right now. Plus the medicine. So you don't know what the future holds. Hell, they might find a cure for it eventually before they do cancer. And I hope they find that cure. But until then, Dan, what do you got for our next strange fact and finding? That seemed very inconsiderate. I'm sorry if that sounded inconsiderate. <laughs> like, moving on now. So, Dan, uh, what do you have for our next strange fact and finding? Next one we got is the Native American people. Many Native American people, such as the Navajo, Apache, and Hopi, all have ancient star people stories that tell of these beings arriving on Earth in certain locations, generally 